Ladies and gentlemen, Kristen Olson Huddle. I kiss my husband goodbye, I hop in the car, and I head to Tacoma for ladies weekend. <laughs> and I'm going to meet my friend, Wendy, she lives in Seattle, and we're going to go run a 5K and spend the following day at the Korean Day Spa. So the 5K went great, it was actually my first 5K, it was a success, but what I really want to tell you about is the Korean Day Spa. So if you've never been to one, um, it's a pretty um, interesting experience, and I heard a lot about it before I went, and uh, one of the things I heard was, get the scrub. You got to get the scrub. Okay, so the other things I heard was, it's um, really kind of like the people's spa, you know, like, um, there's a lot of hot tubs, um, it's, you go naked, and it, it's not weird. Like, you just go, and you're naked, and it's no big deal, and um, it's a all, it's a all women, uh, women's spa. So, all different ages, different body types, it doesn't matter, no shame in, you know, your nakedness, you just go, and you, you, there's a lot of the, um, the different hot tubs have different temperatures. So you go and you sit and you soak, and then um, there's the scrub. So I go for the scrub. And uh, what's interesting about the way this is set up, and I've actually worked in spas before, and, uh, you know, spas I'm used to, like, candles and drapes and doors that close, you know. <laughs> So the Korean day spa is, is like fluorescent lights, fake plants, no doors. <laughs> and so the, you're in the hot tub room, and then there's sort of another room over here where they do the scrubbing. But it's not private. It's all open. Um, so you kind of just get out of the tub and, and onto your table. And so, you know, I have just soaked... Um, in all these different temperatures, like the hottest I could stand to, like, I, I had to get out and go into a cooler one, and then the really cold one, and then the warmer one again, and so I'm just, like, already putty, right? And I get on this table, which is covered in plastic, and um, I meet my scrubber, um, and she's Korean, and she's uh, got her outfit on she's wearing like blank black tank top and black like scrubs actually <laughs> um and so she I'm on the table and she just has this salt or something and she starts with my feet and goes up my legs and up my thighs and she's just exfoliating me and there's it's like a real rhythmical thing and she's just getting all this dead skin off and and then she takes this bucket and fills it with warm water. And then she sloshes the bucket right over me. And it's like the perfect temperature. And I feel it's not coming up my legs. And, you know, I'm laying on the table and the weight of the table kind of creates this indentation and the water just like goes to the lowest point and just slowly oozes off the table. And, and then again, and... Um, it's just, I can't get over, like, how good this feels. It's just the nicest temperature. It's so perfect. And so she kind of just turns me onto my side. And so, you know, I'm kind of laying like this and more scrubbing, more scrubbing. And then, again, with the water. And, you know, it just comes right between my legs and just hits me right in the yoni. And it's, it's <laughs> like, oh. It's, again, the, the perfect. <laughs> and there's more scrubbing and then more water and the water and it's just like this rhythmical wave it's nice it's really nice and she continues to scrub and and I you know I'm laying on my side at this one point and um you know it, it's not I'm sure it is not her intention to look like a stripper by any means but she's got this whole thing let's see like 
like this. She's doing this with the scrubbing, and, and it's right in front of my face. You know, and I open my eyes just for a second, and there's this black tank top and all this motion, and wow. <laughs> and so, again, you know, the final rinse, and um, it's, it's just luxurious, and I feel um, like I have this secret because I'm secretly aroused, which occurs to me is a, a perk that I have as a woman <laughs> to be secretly aroused. <laughs> so we, my friend and I then, after this um, treatment, we go into the spa cafeteria, which at the Korean spa, they have this very cafeteria-like um, restaurant where you, we get kimchi. And I don't know about you, but something about eating fermented foods for me is just, it's very warming, it gets me very tingly, I feel very good inside, and it's, it's pretty much an aphrodisiac for me. So, we're ready to head home. Wendy goes to Seattle, I get in the car, and I head to Portland. And I'm totally turned on, completely aroused. I'm in the car, and um, it may seem natural, to masturbate. However, um, for me, it's been a while. Uh, I moved in with my husband about six years ago. And I remember this one moment, kind of a defining moment, after I moved in with him. And I'm masturbating. Um, I'm trying to kind of recreate a scenario from my home, right? Like sitting on the bed, but at our new house, at his house, the mirror and the bed don't really line up in the same way. And for me, mirrors are kind of essential to my masturbating experience. <laughs> so um, I'm trying, I'm like trying to sit way over on the edge of the bed and get myself in front of the mirror. And, um, you know, before I know it, I'm, I'm picking up socks. And, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I, it's like I can't be bothered. I just forget it. And really, there's nothing worse than trying to make yourself orgasm and losing interest, you know? <laughs> so I don't, I don't really try again, you know, until here, here I am in the car. And I'm like, wow, I feel so good right now. And um, so let me tell you uh, what I'm wearing. Um, I've, I've got on my T-shirt that I got from the 5K. It is too small. Um, I'm wearing this kind of underneath shirt that I often wear when I don't wear a bra. And uh, you know, it's Sunday after all. Um, <laughs> and um, I'm wearing jeans, okay? So I'm in the car, I'm already driving, and um, I just wanna touch my boobs. I just, and so I'm touching my boobs, and I'm trying to get my nipples hard. And um, it works for a little while. It feels good. You know, my hands feel good on my boobs. My nipples feel good on my hands. And I just want more, but I can't keep my nipples hard. So I turn on the AC. <laughs> and... I get all the vents kind of pointed right at the right place. Oh, and um, I also take the mirror from the rear view, <laughs> point it, I can see my boobs, and drive just fine, no problem. <laughs> um, and so this is working, this is working well, and you know, but it's not enough. I want more, and what, I decide I need is water. And I'm like, there's got to be some water in this car. And I, I don't, you know, I don't have anything in the front seat. And so I'm just like, and uh, the first thing my hand touches is this half empty, like week old bottle of uh, lemon fizzy water. <laughs> but it's perfect. Because <laughs> I don't want to drink it. <laughs> And so what I do is I take that bottle of water, I take the cap off, and I just take, oh, I forgot to mention, <laughs> sorry, 
<laughs> what I've done at this point is I've taken my first t-shirt and I've pulled it up <laughs> above my boobs. <laughs> and then, so I'm just wearing this nylon t-shirt underneath. And um, I, I take the bottle of water and I, I take this opening and I just put it right over my nipple and I tip it up and just get it wet and do the other side. So I have this perfect like, little nipple size wet marks on my t-shirt. This is, this is working for me. <laughs> and so my nipples are staying hard. I'm really happy. I'm driving along. And what's amazing to me is, you know, there's not a lot of traffic, but there is some traffic. And what I'm noticing is that nobody's paying any attention to me. People are passing me, I'm passing people, it does nothing. I'm not getting anything from anybody, which is fine. <laughs> um, until this guy in a truck, um, he passes me, and he, he's in like a semi-truck, a big truck. So he doesn't see me as he's passing me, and he gets out in front of me, and um, I see him like look he, in his rearview mirror, and I'm like, <laughs> you know, just driving. I've got my T-shirt up here. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe, maybe he won't notice. Or, <laughs> or, or maybe he will, you know, that sort of exciting. But anyways, he looks away. And I'm like, okay. But then he looks back. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I think he knows what's going on here. But I'm just like, no, 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 driving along. Uh, anyways, he pulls way ahead of me, and uh, I never see him again. <laughs> but um, so I'm here. I am aroused. You know, maybe people are. Uh, I'm having. A, I don't know what that's called when somebody watches you. For some reason, I'm losing my words right now. Thank you, thank you, Voyeur from the road, and. Um, Anyway, I'm really excited, and what I do next is, is I don't, I can't explain why. It's not like, um, it's, it's not that sexy, and it's just sort of weird, but I take that bottle cap, <laughs> and I just place it between my legs, and I press it right on the seam of my jeans, and I'm like, oh, yes. And I press again, and I'm like, this is so good. I press a third time, and I totally come, and I'm moaning, and I'm just grabbing my boobs, and, you know, the car's straight and narrow. No problem. <laughs> Successful orgasm. Thank you. <laughs> and I get home, and I tell my, you know, my husband's like, you know, how was your trip? <laughs> And um, I start to tell him, um, you know, about the water bottle and stuff. And I'm like, uh, you know, I just want to check in. Is, is this, do you think this is weird? Like, um, are, you, are you bored? Do, do you not want to know this? And he's like, oh, no, I'm really into this story. <laughs> so um, the way I want to kind of wrap things up for you, cap it off, as you might say. <laughs> My takeaway from this experience is that even in my married life, it's still important to always love myself. Thank you.